We invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. A hesitant early September dawn was breaking over the North Sea when Serene's Furuno FS V30 low-range sonar indicated the first mark of herring 1,500 meters fine on the port bow. A traditional late summer herring ground some 40 miles east of Peterhead. Herring flowing from Serene's Sea Flow Sea Water Separator towards the Ford RSW tanks. With the Dutch freezer trawler Atlantic Princess towing down the port side, Bobby Polson and Tommy Unson who was tracking the marks back to Serene using the Furuno FSV-84 medium frequency sonar. After a few more promising marks were detected and plotted in the next 45 minutes, Serene's crew were swiftly on deck following the away to shoot call on the internal intercom. It was only the second time that the crew had shot the herring trawl with intent, but after the bag was outhauled as Serene powered round to port, it was quickly shot away. To glimpse the herring school darting through the ocean's waters, moving like a single, iridescent organism is a spectacle indeed. Herring also made possible the development of the region's commercial fishing industry, providing forage for cod, haddock and other ground fish. Today, the herring resource supports commercial and recreational fisheries with a value of more than a billion dollars as well as an ecotourism sector that includes whale watching, birding and boating. The herring industry is now dominated by high-volume industrial ships known as midwater trawlers which drag massive small mesh nets behind them, catching and killing everything in their path. The trawlers sometimes work in pairs so they can drag even bigger nets between them. The practice can lead to localized depletion of herring, contribute to the stalled recovery of severely depleted populations of cod, hake, haddock. A midwater trawl consists of a cone-shaped body, normally made of four panels, ending in a codent with lateral wings extending forward from the opening. It is usually much larger than a bottom trawl and designed and rigged to fish in midwater, including in the surface water.
The front parts are sometimes made with very large meshes or ropes, which herd the targeted fish inwards so that they can be overtaken by smaller meshes in the aft trawl sections. Midwater trawling is carried out mainly at sea, on the continental shelf, but can be carried out in deeper waters in most cases it is a single species fishery. There is no impact on bottom habitats and bottom structures. However, there is overwhelming evidence to suggest that midwater trawling results in high levels of cetacean bycatch. It consists of a cone-shaped body, normally made of four panels, ending in a codent and the net has lateral wings extending forward from the opening. Thank you.